As a teenager in the French Alps, David Longlois was insulted when he was approached by a washboard player. After all, David thought, I'm a drummer. But listening to the washboard changed it from novelty to an instrument for him. After developing his chops for years on the French music circuit, he decided to try the Brooklyn music scene. Music always has been a big part of uh, my life since I remember and pretty much led any conversation at the family dinners and uh, going sometime into some fights and uh, it was always like, it was like politics. It was more than politics. En voiture, Simon. I met this guy on a gig one day. I was playing with a band. He was playing with his. And I love this playing. And they came after at the end and said, well, you know, we're going on tour and uh, we'd love to have you with us. Uh, that would be fun. But you can't bring your old drum set because we have double bass. We have equipment and uh, it, doesn't, it just doesn't fit. So find something in your audience. Sometimes they use a washboard or some stuff. and and you can play that with thimbles. And I felt, I felt a little hurt that they wanted to play on some washboard pots and pans or something like that. And I said no. But then they called me like a month later and this time I was like, I need to play with that band. He plays so well. I came back home and uh, in my mountains, I was living in the mountains at the time and uh, saw a thrift shop and without any hope, I asked him, do you have a washboard? And uh, I didn't even expect him to know what it was. And my big surprise is like, yeah, yeah, I have, I have one of those. I was there, we had the thimbles. We had the fountain pot, my grandma's. It can sound like a cowbell, including a wood block. That could be sounding like a clave. So we can also go into salsa stuff. Or we have thimbles, including a, a cheese grater. Grandma's present again. It's a snare, it's a brushing on a snare. So I started to switch from, am I just, what do I like the most, keeping a beat? and being like the core of, of a rhythm section or more being the guy who comes in and adds some colors. I kind of created my band with the best musician I've, I've heard in my prior uh, visits to New York. And um, the Blue Vipers, it's a mix of um, a swing of blues. I didn't want to go back to Paris. I was born and raised in Paris, left in my teens for the mountains, learned how to love nature and didn't want to go back to Paris. If one city that would have been the biggest one and the only one that has something to really give, keep me dreaming. Music is my life. Music is not, there's no, 
There's nothing that, uh, that is more important to me. And everywhere I went was through music. I can hear it anywhere I go. And it talks to me. I feel close to those people who are playing music either on that little island or on the top of that mountain. I don't know. So I came here to dream and uh, still do.